A massacre in Orlando impacting people everywhere. The president canceling a trip to Wisconsin scheduled for Wednesday. He was going to campaign with Hillary Clinton. Flags around the country flying at half staff after an order from the president. And here in Connecticut, the pride flag flying above the governor's mansion. A vigil underway right now in Hartford, bringing together the gay and Muslim communities. News aides Josh Scheinblum is there. He joins us live with the very latest. Josh. Good evening, Brian. That vigil began just a couple moments ago. We're starting to hear applause now as people begin to give speeches. Now, there were undoubtedly going to be vigils that are taking place all over the country as communities show their solidarity with the people of Orlando, Florida. But what's likely to make this one among the most unique is that it was organized by LGBTQ activists along with Muslim peace activist as well. They put this event on together and they're trying to show the world in the entire state of Connecticut that they are united against what has taken place here. You can see this is pretty much when people just started to uh, show up. They began coming really in the last hour or so. Uh, we, we talked to organizers about this. They say their message is very similar. They want to stand united against hatred and all are mourning the lives of those lost. I felt it was important for the Muslim community to unite together uh, with our LGBTQ community and all Americans to actually say that uh, we are against hatred. And that anger is more than, than is, is the primary um, feeling that I've heard from people. I worry about the kids. It's a little difficult to hear what's going on right now from our vantage point, but we can definitely see you. They have the gay pride flags out. There are signs that show that Muslims and members of the LGBTQ community share much in common and have a lot of common ground and, again, are standing together in the wake of this violence in Florida. We'll take you there and show you what happened coming up tonight at 10 and 11 on News 8. For now, we're live in Hartford. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.